How can you build your own mini hedge fund with algo trading? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how. As we get older, we increasingly want to protect our capital, making good investment decisions that can provide opportunity while at the same time reducing our risk by diversifying into other assets. So before we get started, what exactly is a hedge fund? Basically, hedge funds take other people's money and try and make a better return at a lower risk. And by take, they accept other people's or clients' money. Those people could be wealthy individuals, wealthy families, businesses, and they try and make a better return in multiple markets. Now, what's key here is they're trying to make a better risk-adjusted return. Say, for example, the S&P returned 20% in a year, but had a risk of about 15%, meaning at one point in time, you may have been down 15% on your investment, but at the end of the year, the S&P returned 20%. Generally, the higher return that you want to expect, say 30, 40, 50%, comes with a higher risk. It's just part of the game. You have to accept that risk to get that return. And even then, you never know, right? It's not guaranteed. As the legendary rapper YG said, scared money don't make no money. In 2020, the S&P 500 returned 18%, but had a 33% drawdown, meaning at one point in time, you would have been down 33% which of course would have been during the pandemic. It had a great net return at the end of the year, but there was some risk associated with that. Hedge funds try and outperform that. Usually they can outperform in terms of net returns. Usually they return a little bit less than the S&P, but they have a lower risk associated with that. Very rarely can they outperform the net returns from S&P at the end of the year and have a lower risk. That's a very rare occurrence. Hedge funds will usually only accept you if you have a net worth of a million dollars or more. So for the rest of us, how can we build our own mini hedge fund for ourselves? First, we need to define our goals. How much do you want to return on average per year and how much are you willing to risk? For example, say you want a 20% return a year, you're probably going to have to risk 5, 10, maybe even 15% to get that return or more if it performs badly. Is it possible to return, say, 100% a year? It is possible, yeah, but you're gonna have to accept a lot of risk, probably 50%, 60%, 70% drawdowns, which a lot of people can't handle. It's more important to be realistic with your goals. For example, I like to do a 20% uh, return per year and a 10% drawdown. I think that's very realistic to achieve and doable to do. The next step is defining your markets. What markets do you want to trade? Do you only want to trade indexes? Do you only want to trade commodities? Maybe both. Ideally, you want to trade multiple assets and multiple markets to benefit from the diversification and the volatility. For example, let's compare the S&P 500 futures or ES and oil or CL as its symbol. As you can see in both of these charts, ES is trending down and oil is trending up or at least holding up. If you had a long strategy on ES, you'd probably be losing money right now. But if you had a long strategy on ES and a long strategy on oil, you'd probably either be break even or maybe oil is making enough to have a small win. Now take that a step further if you had long and short strategies for both and assuming all four strategies are good and sound and they make sense and they're performing, um, you would end up profitable, right? So it's really important to have that diversification of multiple strategies on multiple markets. Here are some pseudocode C-sharp examples of the four strategy ideas. We have long and short for both ES and CL. The long is if the close is greater than the 200 moving SMA or simple moving average, we're gonna enter long. We're looking for an uptrend, right? With a 3% profit target and a 2% stop loss and vice versa for the short. If the close is less than the 200 moving simple moving average, then we're gonna go short with with a 3% profit target and a 2% stop loss. So essentially four strategies because we have a long and short for ES and then a long and short for oil. And, you know, ideally this would be a nice hedge strategy. Obviously these are ideas, test them for yourself. You know, they're not fully tested strategies by, my, by myself, but these are ideas for you to take and build upon. Once you have a list of strategies, say you have five or 10, you want to start grouping them into different portfolios and track them. This will give you a drill down performance of different portfolios. Maybe you wanna group them by volatility. Maybe you have an aggressive portfolio and a conservative portfolio. Or maybe you wanna group them by markets, such as an index portfolio and a commodities portfolio. Then track your performance on a weekly or monthly basis and ask yourself these questions. What's the return or loss for the week or month? When do my strategies do well? What markets do they do well? What's my drawdown? What's the required capital? All of these tips in this video will help you build your own mini hedge fund with algo trading for yourself. 
It will help protect your capital and hopefully produce a return with the different opportunities in different markets. I hope you found value in this video and we'll see you next week.